Hey everybody, Mr. Twin Guns here. Uh, I picked up another uh, gun the other day. Um, if you've been watching previous videos, uh, always looking for a good uh, concealed weapon gun. Um, I was using the uh, XD9 subcompact. Um, the problem I keep running in with that, great gun, never had a problem. Uh, I have nothing negative to say about it. Um, besides, it's a, it's a little bulky, um, especially when you're carrying it. Um, it doesn't really weigh too much. It just It's on the bulkier side of life. So, um, and then the other problem I have is, you know, um, I was going to do a shooting video with the TCP, the Taurus, um, but I just decided not to because um, it's a 380. Just We have other videos on 380s. I guess I could have done a shooting video. It's pretty much the exact same thing as the uh, PT-22, the Taurus, uh, as far as the trigger goes and everything. Just a smooth trigger. Um, let's see. I'll go ahead and show you this here. Uh, I did have the uh, CW-9, and I uh, seen this one at the gun shop the other day, and I could not resist. Um, I had to pick it up. It's the CW45. Uh, very thin profile. It's an uh, inch, inch there. I think it's an inch point oh one or something like that. Uh, it has a three and three point six four inch barrel. Let's see if I can get it all the way in the shot there. Really is a nice gun. Pretty much the exact same thing as the. CW9, uh, I did a video on that, a couple videos I believe. Um, these are just great guns. I can't say enough about them. I am extremely happy with it. Um, just the feel in your hand is excellent. It has great uh, stippling there on the back and on the front. And I checked this firearm. It is, the magazine's loaded, but the live one's sitting right there in the back. Uh, go ahead and disassemble this for you because it is a little tricky. Uh, it's not really that tricky. It's just a, a little different. Um, by the way, it only uh, it only weighs 19.7 ounces, which is very nice, very light, very flat. When you know carrying it, very very nice. Um, can't say enough good things about it. Um, I don't have the CW9 anymore to uh, really compare it, but it's pretty much the exact same size with just, uh, it's a 45, it's a 6 plus 1, uh, it's got the same browning type recoil lug, the uh, same passive strike striker block, um, no magazine disconnect, which is nice, at least that's, I mean, I would prefer that, um, that's basically just, if the magazine's out and there's one in the chamber, you pull the trigger, it's going off. So I'm going to show you, uh, I guess the easiest way i found to take these apart is kind of have your thumb right here. And you're going to line, let's see if I can get this, I don't know if it'll come up. There's a little teeny notch right there on the bottom. And then there's one right there on the slide. You just line those up, and I usually just put my thumb on the top of the barrel there. And you have to poke this button here, you have to push that through the other side while holding that like this. Usually I have like a nail or a screwdriver or something to push it through. Um, so while holding this back, just push that through. If I can get it to do it. It's kind of a bear. Um, I haven't had, this isn't fully broken in yet, and then you just pull that out and pull the trigger, comes right apart, and pretty much like everything else you see, um, this, I'll go ahead and bust it all the way down here so you can see the uh, browning type lug that I'm talking about there. That's the browning type lug on the bottom. Uh, really nice barrel. 
just like last last time. Very nice and polished feed ramp. Um, I gotta say I haven't had the opportunity to shoot it yet. Uh, I just picked it up yesterday. So uh, and it is freezing where I'm at. So uh, and the wind is just there's just no way it's gonna come up good on camera. So I'm not even gonna bother trying to uh, mess with that. Uh, goes together the same way. This spring's pretty good spring, gotta say. Is uh, gonna pull it back and just line everything up. Make sure everything's lined up in the center as always. Make sure it's more or less. You need to make sure that's perfectly center and just put it back on and do the same thing. Hold that back with your thumb. Uh, you could put it on the side of a table like this and then push down on the slide, but I just kind of do it with my thumb like this and just get ready so I don't have to do it. It doesn't take that long. But I'll try to do this so you can see it. Just push that back to where there's two little lines. Let's see if I can do it correctly here. To where there's two lines. It's hard to do a show you in, in camera and at the same time. Just line those up, push that back through, and that's it. Very nice gun. Can't say enough about it. Go ahead and show you the inside there. Uh, the, uh, the grip on it is just amazing. Um, I really like it. Not too aggressive, but uh, just enough. And it gives you that full-size grip, so you don't have to go out and buy the stupid little pinky thing. Um, sometimes I like those, sometimes I don't. Um, I'd rather just a full-size, and this really isn't a full-size gun, it's a compact. Uh, it's definitely a good concealed weapon. Um, like I said, I can't say enough about the uh, car and their products. Have never had a problem. Don't expect to have one with this either. Uh, the other one I had was the NRA model. Not really a big deal. It just said NRA on the side. But uh, like I said, I definitely, uh, this is probably going to be in my permanent uh, solution. Because uh, it's hard to find uh, a 45 that's light that's not going to weigh you down, and that has at least, you know, a decent amount of rounds in it. You know, something that's flat, something that's not bulky. And, uh, like I said, that 9 was great. Uh, nothing wrong with 9mm. Uh, me, personally, 6 plus 1, 45, that's the way I would, that's the way I want to roll. Um, I, you know, I don't want to hurt anybody, but if I had to, and the situation came up, uh, this is pretty much a one-shot stop. I'm not going to sit there and have to keep unloading my gun. So uh, definitely feel safe with this. And this is my concealed weapon, probably for forever, if I had to guess. I don't. Uh, I've been looking and looking and researching, and this is this is it. This is the best one I can find on the market for the money. Uh, it's excellent priced. Uh, for a car. These are basically the low-end cars, but um, still a great gun. Operates fine. I'm sure I'm not going to have any problems with it, and I'll get a shooting video up ASAP as soon as it's a little bit uh, nicer out. But uh, I'll leave you with that, and uh, I'll see you later.